now we will see the mode right for ungrouped data the mode will be yes it would be the most frequently occurring observation okay the most frequently occurring observation so here in this data the one is the mostly frequently occurring observation so here for this ungrouped data one is the mode this is for the ungrouped data now for the group data we get the mode by simple formula by 3 into median minus 2 into mean not every time the answer would be perfect but this would be a shortcut to check and the mathematical formula is L plus F0 minus F1 upon 2F0 minus F1 minus F2 into the class width now let me annotate all these letters L it will give us the lower limit it is the lower limit of model class the F0 is the cumulative frequency of the model class cumulative frequency of model class F1 is the cumulative frequency of class preceding the model class and F2 is the cumulative frequency of class succeeding the model class right and I is the class width and this is the formula for finding out the mode for the group data but if the median and the mode sorry the median and the mean are given in the well, uh, question then you can find out the mode by this simple formula now we will see for the standard deviation standard deviation and standard deviation attributed as st and it will be equal to sigma of x minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1 now when n is less than 30 okay when n is less than 30 we use n minus 1 as a denominator and when n is less uh, greater than 30 we will use only n as denominator right so that was standard deviation this is the formula there are many other formulas but this would be the best of them no doubt it's longer but it's better coefficient of vari variation coefficient of variation and that would be equal to standard deviation into 100 upon mean similarly coefficient of quartile deviation we will come to the work quartile the quartile deviation the coefficient of the quartile deviation would be quartile deviation upon median into 100 and the coefficient of mean deviation and that would be equal to mean deviation upon mean into 100 so that was the coefficient of various value and the standard deviation start now we'll see what is quartile quartile means the whole 100 percent is divided into four parts okay so we'll be having three quartiles uh, if i represent it as diagram then q1 would be if this is 100 percent then q1 would be this portion that is 25 percent and the re uh, rest of the 75 percent is q2 plus q2 Certainly q2 would be exactly the median so it is also known as median or the vice versa median q2 50 percent 
on the either side and the q3 would be just as reverse of the q1 and it would be q3 the last 25 percent of the 100 percent similarly the word quartile there are other words like quintile decile okay the quintiles would be the whole 100% of observations are divided into five equal parts. And here, similarly, it would be divided into 10 equal parts. So, the mostly used terminology goes. So, quartile is what the medical students will have to use in their biostatistics exercise. Now we'll see how to find the quartile. So QI, where I is equal to 1 or 2 or 3, is equal to L plus N by 4 minus cumulative frequency upon frequency into H. So let me annotate the letters. Here L would be the lower limit of quartile class, right? This is to be remembered. This would be the frequency of quartile class. This would be the cumulative frequency of class preceding the quartile class. And this is the class width. Now, if we talk about how to find the quartile class, it is similar to the median or the median class we are finding in the group data. Say for Q1 n by 4 of the cumulative frequency will give us the quartile class. For Q2, it would be 2n by 4, that is n by 2, that is the median if you remember. And Q3 is equal to 3n by 4 and that will give us the quartile class for third quartile. Now we have to look on two other terminologies. First is Enter quartile range and that would be given by q3 minus q1 and quartile deviation and quartile deviation will be given by q3 minus q1 upon 2. Here this quartile deviation term is also known as semi interquartile range. So any of them can be asked but the formula remains the same. So that was quartile. 